everybody, Adam Payne here coming at you from Central Japan with Beers with Adam and the Video Oracle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a YouTube subscribe button to any WordPress website that you own. It's very, very simple. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to make sure that you give people every opportunity to subscribe to your YouTube channel. And when I say subscribe button, I mean this little thing here, which has your picture and the number of subscribers that you have. Now, if we come over here to one of my websites, the Beers with Adam website, you can see that I have it in here. I should probably have a little bit of a call to action here, which actually tells people that they should click the button in order to subscribe. But you can put this little image on thank you pages, in blog posts, blog pages, sidebars. Um, it's very important that you do that because people are going to come to your content, not just only on YouTube, but on your websites as well. And that reminds me, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button at the bottom right of this little video. There'll be a little picture which says Tube Architect. If you click that, you can subscribe to my channel and get updated when I create new content. Done that? Good stuff. Okay, so how do we go about getting this little button? Well, we need to get some code. And we want to come to this website here. Now, uh, the long URL is developers.google.com forward slash YouTube, forward slash YouTube, forward slash subscribe, forward slash, it's not even forward slash, it's underscore. I've even got the URL wrong. So forget about remembering it. There'll just be a link below this video where you can copy and paste the link into your browser. Easy. Anyway, when you come to this page here, and by the way, you can just go to Google and just type in Google Developers and you can locate the YouTube subscribe uh, button inside of here. What you want to do is you want to come over here on the left hand side to where it says configure a button. And what you want to grab your YouTube channel ID. How do you get that, you ask? Well, you come over here and you basically log into your YouTube channel. You want to hit your little Creator Studio button here. So you're going to hit Creator Studio. That's going to bring you to this page. And then you can hit View Channel. When you view your channel, it will say at the top, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash your YouTube channel ID. Now, if you already branded this with a vanity URL, you probably know what it is already. But for a lot of people, it may just be a bunch of numbers and letters and so on and so forth. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, copy it, come over here, paste it in here and press enter and it'll appear down here. Now you can change the design of this little button if you want. You can have the default one and you'll see it change here in a second. Um, or you can have the full one. It's really up to you. And you can have it display the subscriber count. It's taken a little while. There you go. That's without your um, your picture. So that's without my ugly mug. But I want my ugly face to be shown um, so people can see exactly who I am. You can make it dark. You can play around with this. You can make it dark, make it light. You can show your subscriber count or you can hide it. It's really up to you. When you're ready, you get given some code. Now, it will automatically populate in this box. You want to copy this code and you want to come over to wherever it is that you want to paste um, wherever it is you want the button to show. So that could be in your sidebar of your blog in a little text widget. It could be in a post or it could be in a thank you page, wherever it is. And you want to be able to post that code in here. So in WordPress, for example, you would make sure that you're not in visual, but you're in text. And you'll just want to, let's get rid of that, and we'll paste it in here. When we click to visual, you'll see what looks like a little camera roll. It won't show your picture, don't worry. When you actually publish this, it will look something like this, but of course it will be your face, your brand, and your subscriber account. And that's all there is to it. It's very, very simple, but you want to make sure that you give people ample opportunities to subscribe to your channel, not only on your videos, but on your content as well. Which reminds me, if you haven't subscribed, if you ignored me before, make sure that you do subscribe by clicking the subscribe little button in the bottom right of this video. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.